Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, I thought we'd take a look at my River Song prop replicas. So yeah, a bit of a collection video today, if you can call this a collection, I guess. But yeah, we have actually taken a look at most of these on the channel before. So if you want a better look at the Sonics or the Diary, you could go and check out the previous video. But yeah, today I thought we'd just do a little collection video so we could take a look at them all together. So yeah, here they are. Now, all of these are from different people and different places, uh, but all of them are very good and they all have a special place on my shelf. <laughs> so yes, we'll start off by taking a quick look at the Sonic Trowel, of course. Probably the best thing to start off with here. So as you can see, this is not metal. This is a 3D printed Sonic. And it's actually the only, well, I was gonna say that. No, I've actually got another one. This is the second, it's the first 3D printed Sonic I actually owned. I actually have another one now, which we haven't actually taken a look at yet, but maybe we'll get around to that eventually. But yes, this is the Sonic Trowel as seen in the Husbands of River Song, the 2015 Christmas special. So yeah, I'm a big fan of the Sonic Trowel and I hope one day to actually get a metal replica. That will be very cool. But uh, for now, this is uh, doing the job. This is filling the gap on the shelf. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty well made. I got this on Etsy from Tempered Props. And yeah, I got it a few years ago now. As you can see, it does feature a blue LED, which is quite bright. And it has a rechargeable battery in the handle, which you can just unscrew the button section here. And it will, it's not focusing, but you can just unscrew the button section and change the battery out. Well, it's rechargeable, so just connect the charging cable and recharge the battery. But uh, yeah, I've not actually had to do that yet. And I have actually owned this for quite a while now and it's never needed recharging, so that's pretty good. But yeah, it's quite bright, it's quite powerful. Probably could do with a recharge actually. But um, even though it's only 3D printed, it's uh, very good, very good quality. It's, uh, it's quite light, but obviously you'd expect that with it being 3D printed. But um, yeah, you know what? It does the job. It does the job. So yes, that is the Sonic Trowel. Put that down here. Next, we're going to take a look at this new addition to my River Song prop replica collection. So this was also featured in the Husbands of River Song. However, she's referenced it in, I think, series five. So it's really good to, I was really glad to see it on screen, finally. So yes, this is the book, uh, the photo book with all 12 of the Doctor's faces, all 12 being one to 11, including the War Doctor, of course. But uh, yeah, we finally see this in the Husband of River Song. And of course, it isn't actually River that has it, it's R Ramon, one of her husbands, but it's obviously gonna belong to River. But uh, yeah, it's really cool. This is from Who Prop Replicas on Etsy, the same maker who made the diary. So yeah, it's pretty cool. It's just a little black booklet with all of the photos inside. And of course, it all folds up like that and you can pop it in and close it up. There we go. So yeah, I think that's a pretty neat little prop. Something that, you know, I thought, yeah, I've got to have that, add that to the collection. Because I thought it was cool when we finally saw it on screen after, you know, in series five, I think, in the, um, in the Angel episode when she said, I've got photos of all your faces but uh you never show up in the right order or some, something like that but yes uh pretty pretty cool prop so next we will take a look at the diary of river song probably 
one of my favorite, you know, replicas that I have that isn't a sonic screwdriver. You know, it's just so well made. You would literally think, you know, it'd come right out the screen. So again, like, like I just said, this is made by Who Prop Replicas. I bought this on Etsy. Um, they also sell them on eBay sometimes. So, you know, you could probably find them on there sometimes. But yes, it's very well made. Um, you can see it's TARDIS blue as it should be. And it actually resembles the TARDIS, if you, you know, you didn't know that already. <laughs> but yeah, this replica is pretty good. You can get the illustrated version, um, or just a blank version. Of course, I had to go for the illustrated version. So we've got lots of little Easter eggs and goodies and like references in there. But um, yeah, we like I say, we have taken a look at the diary before so i'm not gonna skim i'm not gonna look for it all i'll probably just have a quick skim through it probably not that much because all the little inserts will be popping out but um i could definitely recommend this to anybody who's a fan of river song especially if you're a cosplayer um you know it's just great even even for display purposes but um you know, there's lots of little goodies and Easter eggs in there. You can actually read some of it, you know, so that's pretty cool. And also it looks great uh, with the Sonic Screwdriver replica. So you could place that on top of the book there. And uh, yeah, it looks like it did in the Series 4 two-parter. But yeah, I love that story. I love this prop and I love the diary. So, you know, both both being together it's the best uh, best combination but yeah could definitely recommend this diary to anybody they still make them now so you could still get them and probably still get the photo book as well sometimes they're there sometimes they're not as for the trowel the trowel i don't think the tempered props is making them at the moment um but you never know could be other makers making some of them soon maybe even in metal who knows <laughs> but yes that brings us to the sonic screwdriver and here it is here sitting in its stand from rubber toe replicas uh so the stand is from rubber toe replicas but the sonic screwdriver itself is from colin wood replicas which is a maker who is no longer around anymore unfortunately but he did some brilliant stuff i've got my sonic lipstick from him as well and he did uh, a few other things, but uh, I've got the Sonic Lipstick and River Songs Sonic Screwdriver by him. And this is number two of 10, according to this plaque, but I, uh, I believe there's 12, I think, in total. I think he made one for himself. And I've seen uh, somebody who has number 11, so um, there's definitely at least 11, probably 12. But yeah, you know, so there's not many of them. And I got this well, quite a few years ago now. I bought this off a friend of mine. And when he offered it to me, I was like, yes, straight away, because, you know, it's a replica of a sonic screwdriver that I really love. Because it's basically a, you know, it's, well, it's, a, it's the future sonic screwdriver. You know, it, it's basically an upgraded 10th Doctor's sonic screwdriver. It's just, uh, it's just beautiful. It's a beautiful replica of a beautifully designed screwdriver. And yes, it's just gorgeous, really. Here it is in all of its glory. You can take a good look at the detail of the crackle paint there, which has aged rather beautifully since I first got it. You know, if you take a look at the video of this when I first got it, and compare it to now you can you can see the paint has you know definitely aged but you know i think that just adds to the overall look of this screwdriver because it's meant to be aged anyway you know that's why it's got this green paint all over it this is based on the series 4 version of the props so not the prop that was used in Husbands of River Song, where it, was, where it looked brand new. This is the sort of weathered, aged, old version that we see in series four. So yeah, it's, it's gorgeous. I mean, it's a real beauty. 
see the detail in it. And we can take off the cap there to reveal the neural relay indicator, which actually does a lot more than just, you know, show the bars like that. You know, you can flick the top switch, oh, bottom switch even, <laughs> and the last bar just stays on. So pretty cool, really. It'd be cool if the uh, second bar flickered a bit as well, which I don't think it does, but you know what, That even that's just pretty cool. You can turn it off, turn it on full, and yeah. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Big fan of that. You can see that sort of flickers there. But um, yeah, big fan of the neural relay on this. You can see it just hides in there really well. Doesn't come off or anything. You can see you can hold it in there with the ring, light it up with the white LED, but we've got the blue emitter tip on there with the activation button on the top of this fluid link here coming from the user recognition ring. I'm joking, <laughs> but um, no, no, in all seriousness, it's a, it's a beautiful Sonic. Love the dampers, love the aged paint job. And it does come with a blue emitter, but it also came with a red emitter. So you can unscrew the grub screw, which is just there, which I could probably do that real quick. If you give me a second, there we go. So yeah, I couldn't do that as quickly as I thought, but it's on now. So you can see the red emitter lights up pretty well so that's why it has a white led so you could swap over the emitter domes so you can have the red setting as well but i believe it was only the red uh prop as in series four there was one with a red emitter and one with a blue emitter and it was only the red uh, prop that lit up uh, you know that had the panel indicator so um, it's probably better to have the red uh, version but I think when we see it actually in the scene it's um, got the blue emitter on so technically it's both right but hopefully one day I will have another one of these so I can have one with the red emitter on and one with the blue emitter on but yeah, I think it would be cool to have two of these, one to represent each prop. So you could have one with the red emitter and one with the blue emitter. But um, you know what, for now, I'm just you know really happy to have this. Who knows, in the future, I might have a few more so I can have one with the red emitter, one with the blue emitter, maybe even one that looks brand new for the husbands of River Song. But yes, that is my collection of River Song's prop replicas. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you all later on for another video. Goodbye.